That's it. That's all our gear for the weekend. This is it. It's been the whole weekend with just this stuff. So here we go. Let's see who's here. How are you? Sims. Admiral, we Admiral Sims. Brandy I'm not sure what Admiral is. <laughs> he hasn't showed up yet. He's got time. He's thinking. Oh, we're just kind of looking around, see where we're going to sleep. Scouting out the terrain. Plenty of places. I think we probably should go. We've got a little hole we can walk over there if we go. You want to go by that tree over there? That's an old spot for us. I haven't been over there in a long time. This is a Louisiana Port Hudson Civil War reenactment. It's a weekend-long annual event that gives people the opportunity to relive conditions during the siege of Port Hudson. That's it. Well, I'm going to lay some ground cloths down and some blankets. But that's pretty much it. Big enough to fit three people. You know, this might be like a clucker meeting. It's see, not. You know, which, we're like a DAR for the South. We're just doing history. That's all we've heard. And we love it. I'll, I'll play a Yankee as soon as I play we went the up there. It's all a play. We're actors in a play. That's all we are. So we, we left, man. That, that's the whole thing here. That's just me. You can't see, you know. I really should be ordering you to fill my canteen up, but I'm going to fill you up. I'm going to fill it up this time. I'm going to take care of it this time. Shall we it's better than nothing. We'll go to the settlers later and see if they have a court. I celebrate the first miracle. Water to wine and a damn good party a wedding. <laughs> it, it's this group we get we we get kinda we can get rowdy. You know, it's, this is all all guys group. Uh, so we don't we don't have women and children, so you know, it's a lot of a lot of man talk, you know, all, all that. I'm to look forward to, brother. Nicely done, around, sir. Nicely done. Got to I we kill may a lot of go, people. but I ain't driving by myself. It's we do. Three or four we get together. Well, we no, may, I work for an energy company. That's pretty damn good. I can't get there from here. Get your breakfast cooked and get something to eat. And, uh, all I've got. Emma? This is the ranks with a rousing cheer. Tisha That's my wife. So I take that with me everywhere I go. The 48-day siege of Fort Hudson is the longest siege in Civil War history. Conditions became so desperate for the Confederate soldiers that they were forced to eat anything they could, including rats and horses. Well, I, I teach history, and there's just certain aspects of history you just can't learn in a book unless you just come out and experience it yourself. Uh, I mean, you can read about uh, the soldiers going hungry and going thirsty and achy feet and things like that, but you really just don't know until you get out here and experience it for yourself. The reason that I do it more than anything is the camaraderie. I've met some of my best friends doing this. Yeah. For example, if I'm 100 miles away from home and I'm, I'm broke down in a vehicle, I need somebody to come get me, I, I, can, I can count on one hand the people I can call. I've met three of them through reenact. All right. The blue one's only far be the other one. Actually, because they're percolators. They're percolators. Yeah, they're percolators. <laughs> yeah, they're, I wasn't even watching it. I was looking at the bottom part. I, I I it or something. Hey, did Joe gonna go with us for color? Uh, we're probably gonna pop a cap on the ground and make sure it's clean. Make sure they see the grass move underneath it. Pick it up. Checking to make sure that's clean. You can hear it when it goes through. 
that pinging noise kind of denotes that there's nothing inside of it. Thank you. Also making sure that the hammer itself is functional. You don't want it to get, have any real give to it. Or, worst thing you can have happen is when you fire the weapon or misfires that uh, that hammer does something kind of weird for you. Good. They're going to raise the colors, and then we're going to go do the attacking. Take our position and uh, hope for the best. You have any strategies like that? Uh, I'm sure the colonel does. We, uh, I just take orders. You know, one of the one of the problems with reenacting is, uh, you know, a lot of the guys that are into this are like history buffs and they're older, so it's hard to get, you know, 18 year olds to come out here, obviously, for obvious reasons. So uh, it's always not real representative of what the troops, you know, were relatively young, especially early in the war. So. <laughs> Been to an event where we actually marched almost 40 miles in four days. This is just a little walk. <laughs> We're gonna to try to stack them up and make them try to flank us, which they'll probably, since that's the easier ground, gonna probably start flanking us to the right. We're gonna hold this position to the last. Then we're gonna move, if we get flanked, we're gonna fall back. Hopefully we've got two or three companies to the rear here. It'll hit them as they're coming around in the flank. They get here, we'll be able to ambush them. And if they start flooding through, we'll have a way to retreat back to our other forces. Just a minute, we're having tea. All right, come on. Ready! Front right! Commence firing! Go back! Step up! Fire on them! Fire on After finishing the tactical and a mock battle for park visitors, the soldiers decide to attend the evening ball at the settler's camp.
further and further apart, more abnormal. Nine o'clock the park opens, so we need to make sure we have all of our modern acronyms stowed in the way. Through the day, let's all remain in our period impression. I really got interested in commanding because I did I saw some people that really really weren't doing it right the way I felt like they wanted to do it and uh, I went out and found a group of boys like-minded boys who uh, who try to do it the way I like to do it Stay forward forward Shoulder, arm. We're doing hold the time. Ready? We're ready. Ready? Ready? For the nearly 500 reenactors that participate in the reenactment, it's more than just a simple hobby. For them, it's about maintaining an important part of history that is slowly being forgotten.